All right, what is up guys? We've made it to the farm. Um, unfortunately, I forgot my GoPro chest mount, so I'm not gonna be able to get any on the bike riding shots, but that's okay. Cause I still got the tripod, I can get them from the outside. But before we go any further, let's take a look at this view. He's ripping it. But yeah, this is the farm. So we even got some horses over here. They're a little spooked of the dirt bike, but they're coming, you know, they're hanging out. Still trying to get that dirt bike tuned up. So they're a little scared because there's all kinds of noises going on, but you know, chill day here at the farm. But we'll give you a little walk around this bike. So here is the other bike, the Yamaha XT225. Not exactly a 250, but it's pretty close enough for the comparison. So as you can see, we got the tail light license plate. It's street legal. And of course the headlight. So we'll even rip it around at night. But I've been riding this uh, on the road a lot. You can actually check out some of my moto vlogs with this bad boy from the road, but we are gonna rip it off-road today as you can see and I'm gonna give you a little comparison with the CR250 which is currently getting tuned up but yeah she's a ripper as you can see it's air-cooled so it's got these fins whereas the CR does not have that but yeah drum brake in the back disc brake in the front the 250 CR250F out here. We're just trying to dial it in. We got a little carb rebuild on that. So you can see we just have to hold some gas down during idle. We're still trying to get that air fuel ratio right. But like I said, it is looking fresh out here. So yeah, we're just gonna do some riding. We're gonna compare the 250 Yamaha Dual Sport to CR, so let's hit it. All right, so I do not have my chest mount, but what we do got in the truck right here, bam, duct tape. If you can't duck it, fuck it. So I'm gonna try to rig something up with this, a little chest mount. We'll see how it goes, but first I'm gonna get geared up, so let's hit it. All right, and just like that, we are geared up, ready to go. So next thing is just gonna be to try to mount this tripod here. It's my way too small chest plate. So let's try that out. Hopefully it doesn't just fall off and go on the ground, but. All right, we got some brats and corn going. Grilling some stuff up after some riding there. Come over here, we gotta stir these beans. Oh yeah, oh that's hot, that's hot. Those are some hot beans, that's a hot fire. Let's get it from this way. Some hot beans right there. Holy hot. Let's move those suckers. It's probably not the best to touch hot beans, but. Yeah, stir those suckers, right? Wow, that is hot. It gets fucking hot quick. 
All right, we got those beans stirred. We're just gonna be chilling until nightfall. Maybe we'll take this bad boy out for a rip at the night because we got that headlight. So we'll see what happens. But we'll see you at night time.
I right, hope y'all guys enjoyed that little nighttime riding shot there. It was pretty fun. A little bit sketchy just mobbing through the woods at night like that, but you know, you're not really sure what's gonna pop out, but it was pretty fun. So we're just gonna chill with the fire till we go to bed. See you guys in the morning. Good morning everyone, hope you guys enjoyed that little night time lapse there, that was my first time trying that with the Hero 8, so if you liked it, leave a comment down below and we'll do some more of those, but for now I'm just going to go out, ride the XT on the road, and I'm going to tell you guys the second benefit of the XT over the CR250, so let's go.
slow. I'm gonna swing her around right here before the highway. There's obviously plenty more road to ride out here, but only have so much time, so we're gonna head back. All right, so it is the next day and I'm back home. I would have filmed an outro at the farm, but for some reason, like literal hordes of black flies showed up and were just like swarming everywhere, biting us like crazy. So basically we scrambled to get the bikes in and head out. And in that scramble, I didn't really film much of an outro because I was busy getting bit by black flies. Roll a clip. But besides that, let's get to the point. I know this was supposed to be more of a side-to-side -side comparison between the CR250F, which we got right behind us, and the XT225 Dual Sport, but that didn't exactly go as planned because due to me forgetting the chest mount, I didn't really get the footage that I wanted to get for the comparison. Since I couldn't really get the shots that I wanted to, I'm gonna leave it off with some closing thoughts. So, the CR250 is obviously a whole nother animal. It's got bigger, beefier tires that grip just way better. You can see the knobby is just a lot bigger on this. It's got way beefier suspension that soaks everything up way better than the XT. It's basically made to race. It's much faster, pulls much harder, even sounds a lot better because, you know, there's not emissions regulations on this for the road. But, if I had to choose one of the two bikes, it would have to be the XT. And even though it's a little slower, and it's not as great off-road, it did a really damn good job all around. And I think that's what's gonna be most important here, is if you had to choose one bike, you're probably gonna want the Dual Sport, because riding around the countryside like that was super fun, not to mention you can ride at night and off-road and do it all legally so that's my choice but if you do want to see a more side-to-side -side comparison that is more based on evidence make sure to leave a comment down below because i'll bring these two bikes back out and we'll do a hot lap timing each one to see how big the gap between the cr and the xt actually is because obviously this one's going to be a little faster but I don't know how much, so make sure you drop a comment and subscribe to look for that next video. But in the meantime, have a good day. Peace.